let me kind of let it go for years. I hate talking about it. It's really hard to get accused of something you didn't do when I sat in jail for 11 months. This was my first boyfriend. We met in church. We sung on the same choir. He was a deacon. Like, I trusted you. And I got pregnant. You was in jail. I had her. You was in jail. When my daughter first told me at nine years old that her dad touched her, I really didn't believe her because I didn't think church guys would do that. So, yeah, I admit I did not believe her. But as time went on, I, I, I started believing her. As time went on, I have got tough love from her, I guess, because I didn't believe her at first. Like, we've been at each other. It hurts because I'm the only parent out here that's going through it. He's not out here to deal with her disrespecting me or angry with me. Because I really believe she's angry with him, but I'm the only parent out here to take it out on. I did testify. I wanted to be known. I testified. I did nothing to protect him. I did everything in my power to make sure the book got thrown at him and justice was served. And I would never help him touch my own daughter. That's sick. That's coming from a person that was, that's jealous because I moved on and got married. I just hope happened that we're, we're in a relationship, but I want a closer bond with my daughter. I'm not gonna give up on my child. She was more concerned about her relationship with him than protecting me, because when I went to her and told her what happened, she didn't believe me. This was when you were approximately nine years old, right? Yes. And you went to your mother and said, basically, my father is abusing me. Yes. And she said, I don't believe you. She called me a liar. She says, you know, it's kind of hard for her now to dealing with you. You're a little disrespectful to her almost like she's kind of like a victim here. I mean, that's the way I'm interpreting her videotape. But I wonder, like, okay, you're the victim, but didn't you go to prison for 11 months for doing some bad things to your daughter? She went to prison. She did. But she wants credit for testifying against your father. She was forced to testify. She didn't choose to testify. It's like some days I can't stand her. Like I can't stand to be around her. Um, because even choices that she make now, I just question if she really did play that role. Um, so it's hard to build a relationship with her. Do you remember how old you were when this uh, first began to happen with you? I was nine. You were nine? Yes. Do you know how long it went on for? A few months. A few months. What do you remember about being young and going through what you, want, you were going through? Um, I remember my father was released from prison because um, he was in and out of jail my whole life. I remember he was released from prison and my mom immediately wanted to go to him and I didn't want to go. I never liked him. I always was afraid of him. Um, but she told me I had no choice, that I had to go. So we went and we stayed with him. And during a time, he started touching me. Um, he just started like gradually with, he would touch me in places and then it led to him um, having intercourse with me. He had intercourse with you? Yes. And when you told your mother, she called you a liar? Yes. She told me that I was a liar as a child. I lied about everything and she didn't want to believe me. She didn't go to the cops or anything. How did it come out that something happened to you? Um, so we happened to be in a car one day that my father had stolen and um, a cop car came behind us. Um, they ran a license plate. They figured out that the car was stolen and a police chase um, happened. And um, he went on a full police chase with me and my mom in the car. Um, and then he ended up hitting a fire hydrant and a traffic stop, like a light. Um, and then um, he got out the car and started running. And they caught up with him. They arrested him. Um, they took me and my mom to the station, and they searched the car. And in the trunk was a drawing that he drew 
of a little girl sitting on a man's lap and um, the man's hand was up her skirt and he entitled it Daddy's Little Girl and there was like a poem with it and he was planning to show it to me. So he basically, he exposed himself. Yes. Um, so then the police seeing this questioned you about things that were going on with you? Yeah, they and came to me and asked me, was I being molested? And I came out and told them I was. Um, I wrote him a letter when I was 19. Um, the reason was because I was aging out of care and I was going through an identity crisis where I didn't really know his side of the family and I wanted to know where I came from and I wanted to know them and I also wanted to give him opportunity to kind of tell me why he did what he did. Like it was something I was ready to confront at the time. Um, I regret writing him because uh, he pretty much wrote me back in and um, he also said that my, at the time he said that my mom uh, gave him permission because he wanted to leave her and she said that well you can have her to not leave me. Did you ever confront your mother about this? I did. And what did she say? She told me he was a liar and that it wasn't true. So your mother gets out of prison uh, and at some point she gets back in her life right? Yes. Uh, did she raise you? No. No. Um, I stayed in foster care um, pretty much since then. Um, I, uh, there was a period I actually was put away for two years. They shipped me off like two hours past Philadelphia because my dad actually had um, tried to get to kill me so that I wouldn't testify. Um, so they put me in a lockdown facility that was actually for bad kids, but I was there to be protected. You were there to be protected. Yes. Um, so, while you're, you're, you know, not in your mother's care growing up in, you know, the state's custody, did you have contact with your mother? No. I asked for contact with her after I got released from the, um, the placement and I was put into a foster care home setting. I started attending therapy and I asked my therapist if I could connect with my mom. And what was that like? She started coming to my sessions and... Um, I tried to talk to her then, but every time I tried to talk to her about it, she kind of like blows it off. And she came here today, she took a lie detector test. Why is this important to you now? She keeps coming to me when she's in need. So she's actually staying with me right now. Um, she, every time she has nowhere to go, every time she wants money, she comes to me. Um, and I just, I just want to know the truth. Your mother was charged with uh, endangering the welfare of children. She was found guilty. She got 11 months, 15 days to 23 months. Your father, Leonard Porter, is incarcerated. He pled guilty to rape of a child in 2004, and he got 20 to 40 years. This is Your ridiculous. Like, Steve, first of all, only thing I'm confessing to is I did not believe her. Why I was didn't standing you? up to that because. This was somebody I met in church. We sung on the choir. It was Deacon, first love, Her first father. everything. Very nice person. I didn't think. You're talking about her father. Yes. Okay. I didn't think he would touch his daughter. I would think most mothers, if their nine year old daughter came to them and said, This man is raping me. The cops was called. Okay. Whatever the case, you became aware of it at some point. She told you. You didn't believe her? Did you ever talk to him? Uh -uh. Did you back then? Uh -uh. Were you ever able to talk to him after he was arrested? Uh -uh. You had no conversation? No contact, no nothing. So from the time he was arrested to today, you never had conversation? No way. None? None. Not a letter? Nope, moved on. You didn't Not want to letter. ask me, why'd you rape my daughter? No, because I heard enough. I'm going to give you a minute here. You came here where, you know, get this lie detector test. But this is your daughter. She's obviously still struggling with this 20 years later because if she wasn't, you wouldn't be on my show. What do you want to say to your daughter? I'm sorry, Lynette. I wish I'd had things more.
about that. Exactly. You're not the victim here. She's I the victim. Like, I feel like I'm the victim. What, what, what did you go to jail for what you didn't do? When he said I knew and helped him touch her. But that's, you're saying you went to jail because you failed her, that you didn't protect her. Yeah, that's why I took endanger him. Okay, but... so you did do something. You went to jail for not protecting your daughter, not believing her. How did you take care of her? You don't even want to wait here for the results? I'm not going back there to try to convince her to come out. I mean, you know, she, she's failing you again. Okay, first part of her test, we asked her, did you ever strike Lynette leaving a mark or bruise on her body? You answered no. Did you ever cause deliberate harm to Lynette when she was a baby? She answered no. The results came back the same to those two questions and it came back that Andrea told the truth. Um, I wasn't aware that that was even a question. To... Well, we go on. As a minor, did Lynette ever tell you that she was being sexually abused by her father? You answered yes. You confessed. She did tell you. We go on to ask you, when Lynette was a minor, did you ever witness her father sexually abuse her? You answered no. Did you ever give Lynette's father permission to touch her inappropriately? You answered no. The results came back the same to those two questions, and it came back that Andrea told the truth. That ease maybe you improving your relationship with your mother. Yeah. Okay. But I hope this gives you some peace because I know what victims have gone through and how they feel with this being a victim of sexual assault, especially at nine years old, especially by somebody that's supposed to protect you, not harm you. Um, a lot of people have let you down, but you seem pretty strong. And I know there's a lot of hurt and things to get through, but you're living your life and hopefully you can get through this. And at some point, if you get to a better spot in a relationship with your mother, all the more better, if that's what you want. But that's gonna be for you to decide. I hope coming on the show has helped you. And that's, you know, that's all I can say. Thank you. Anything you wanna say? Can I have those papers for no. family? You don't get nothing from me. <laughs> Good luck to you. Good luck to you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too.